Hi, thanks for coming back to the chopping block. Can a 1500 foot per second 10 millimeter get through level three body armor? Let's find out. Chronograph error. Okay, there's the impact, which is actually a little bit closer than I wanted to get to the earlier impact. <laughs> Cut out a nice neat little swatch of fabric, but didn't penetrate at all. Did not perforate, that is. So impact back face. And that's where it fit right there. All right, that wasn't all that surprising. Level 3A armor is rated for 357 Magnum for 44 mag at about 1400 feet per second or so. Not too shocking that this didn't make it through. Still fun to shoot stuff. If you're wondering why I didn't back the armor with clay this time, I had a conversation with Dr. Roberts and he mentioned that he never bothers to back it with clay. It is an NIJ standard, but the reason he doesn't is, well, for one thing, the FBI doesn't back body armor with clay in their testing. Either a bullet perforates the armor or it doesn't, and they don't really care so much about back face deformation. Clay is a pain in the butt to mess with, um, Dr. Roberts convinced me that uh, it doesn't really matter how much back face deformation there is so long as the bullets stopped. He's a lot smarter about this stuff than I am. He's the expert. I'm not. I'm going to adjust my testing methods to what he does. <laughs> the reason it came up is because the only thing that he uses clear gel for is backing body armor. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and do the same thing. Mostly. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Fuck you, traffic. Hi, thanks for coming back to the chopping block. Can a 1500 foot per second 10 millimeter get through level three body armor? Let's find out. I've got some, shit, what does it weigh? I don't know. Don't know anything. Herpeter.